At the back end of 2008, we were invited here by a company called Pure Health. Um, the idea of teaching some parkour workshops. I mean, there's already an existing parkour scene here. They wanted some guys with a bit of experience to come over and just show them the way. Parkour is a new sport in Iceland, and we started teaching it uh, about six months ago. And through Pure Health, we're going to try to take parkour to a higher level here in Iceland uh, and introduce it to as many people as possible. This camp, we have an uh, age from uh, 8 to 42. And for the last three days we've been conducting um, a series of workshops that have covered all the fundamental movements and a few extras as well. Um, so there's myself, Kirby, Blue and Claudio. Um, Blue's been taking care of all of the sort of high, high profile wow factor spins and flips and stuff. Um, but the rest of the stuff is all being fundamental movements. Pure health, we, we try to uh, uh, get kids to uh, exercise more and, and lead healthy lifestyle and of course having fun uh, while doing it so parkour I think is a really good uh, way to exercise. Children tend to be a bit more free spirited than adults so when we were teaching the children the idea is that we would show them some fundamental and safe movements in case they fall and know how to, how to roll and stuff like that but then we encourage them to just explore the environments we'll show them a certain route and then say make your own way up using the moves we've shown you. In the grown-ups, the oldest age group that range from 18 to 42, they just big smiles, and everybody is learning something. Even those guys that are our best parkour guys, you take them in way up. Well, we had the, the the beginner people come to do some stuff, and we had lots of advanced people as well, which you know they can do back flips and front flips and stuff. Um, but a lot of them were doing corks and tunnel flips and all sorts, you know, we didn't expect that. Um, and for them to be doing that when we already got here, we were like, well, what else can we teach them? But, you know, all you have to do is give them a little bit of tips and then, boom, they try it and they get it. Yeah, this experience has been great for everybody, both for us, a pure health to running this camp, and uh, for the kids, they just love it. So only just happy faces. And we've been doing it for three days, it's been very intensive. We've been doing um, up to seven hours a day. And you know, normally you'd be absolutely in pieces. And the kids, I mean, they must be aching, but they're just coming back for more and you know, soaking it up and just having fun really. I think parkour free running in Iceland is gonna be massive. Because the kids now, what are they, like nine, 10, 11, 12? They're amazing already. So give them, what, two, three years of solid training. They're gonna be smashing things up completely. Watch this space. I'm very surprised how high the standard of the professionalism is at urban people. It, when you think of parkour, you think of street games, street kids. But by looking at the course, you see really professionals at work, good coaches, teachers. And that impressed me. The, the whole experience here has been absolutely fantastic. We've been really looked after. Um, the, the way forward is looking really positive, and we're looking to do further things in the future. Uh, possibly coming back to do summer camps and other things, so watch this space.